Park and, and not Garden Creek. In the main exhibit space, uh, most of the work will be about repairing uh, the damaged plaster. We'll be replastering in damaged areas. We'll be repainting in damaged areas. We will be cleaning all the stone uh, on the walls and on the floor. Uh, these light fixtures are not historic and they'll be removed. Uh, but mostly it's about cleaning this space up. Uh, there's a check writing counter that will be uh, restored to the center. Uh, and then this is what it will look like when the exhibit is on. So uh, you know, during the, during the architectural lighting and then during the event lighting. So where, where are all the, the digital? You'll see. Okay. Uh, it's all projectors. There's no screens or anything. Um, at the north and south ends, we have the large window walls, and we do need to cover those over. So what we're proposing is just a, uh, a system that's inserted within the window openings, uh, painted wallboard. It will be insulated, so it also has sound control. Uh, and it will just sit within the masonry openings at the north and the south. Uh, these will be painted on the inside so that you will be able to read the, uh, the patterning of the, uh, of the uh, window muntins. Uh, to your question, Roger, the way that we're doing most of the equipment is by having a truss system, oh, okay. which is this right here. So this actually sits up on the cornice with a small valence in front of it, so it hides most of the truss. The equipment will be visible on top of the truss, but the equipment will be fully movable. Uh, in this way, when they do a different show, they can move the equipment around without disturbing the masonry anymore. The trusses will be fixed permanently. Uh, you have a photo then, of the equipment? What it looks like? Yeah, we'll have that in a second. Uh, so these will be on all of the uh, ledges around the area, but uh, pretty high up. That's about 25 or so feet up in the air. Uh, about two and a half stories up. Uh, these are examples of the typical equipment. There are some light fixtures, spotlighting for architectural lighting, uh, and then video projectors that are doing uh, the bulk of the work. So these are, you know, pretty high intensity video projectors that are able to project onto That's the nice. architecture That's itself. So we don't need any screens on the walls. We don't need any uh, video projectors. And the uh, sub basement. And the it's it like the sub basement. Yeah, yeah. It's on it's the rendering you Oh the rendering is coming up or the Yeah. Yeah, so they these are rendered up in. Uh, I mentioned the lights. We will be removing the non-historic lights in the center. The historic lights that are in the aisles above the tower counters will be retained. They'll be restored. They will be relamped. So the non-historic light. lights are pretty nice too. To have one of them. I know they're not historic, but they're actually very nice. They're, they're, <laughs> they're about 15 years old. Yeah, they look very really good. Yeah. Yeah. I've um, seen them before. They're, and they're actually yeah. attached to yeah. the no, uh, to I've the stained glass. I've been in there. So, um, so how are you? Are you preserving the stained glass? Uh, apologies for yes. interrupting. So How are you? I was just going to say, so the stained glass will, uh, is, is all stained being glass. retained and it will be lit from above uh, so that when, uh, when the exhibit is not on, the stained glass will be lit. There, there are no skylights above these. They were always, uh, they were always lit from above. Uh, but we have one, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one back here. So they're all existing. They're all in actually quite good shape and uh, primarily would be about lighting them. Uh, we do have some small uh, speakers that will be mounted on the columns at the, uh, at the base. This is a picture of what is proposed. This is actually the same model that is uh, used at the interior of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Uh, so they're, they're pretty slim and minimal. Uh, we are also proposing arc, uh, lighting on the underside of the railings coming down these stairs. Uh, so that will involve affixing light fixtures to the underside of the railings in the designated space. Teller counter removals, uh, as I mentioned, this it, it is minimal, I think. 
uh, we're removing these two areas right here. So we're removing one section that's less than a third of the main bank of tellers. Uh, and they will be, the again, the masonry will be finished on the return. Uh, we are also removing two small areas right up at the northeast and northwest corner, and there it's about dropping the sill, retaining the frame of the teller counter, so you're walking through the teller counter itself. Wait, um, I'm sorry, that, that, that's what you're removing up there? Yes, well, we're removing this section here to create this opening so you can pass through. Uh, again, this is all about circulation through the space so that you can get to the areas that were formerly not public. Uh, this is just a detail of that return. Um, this is an existing view uh, looking back towards Chamber Street. And then this is a proposed view. To your question earlier, we are taking some of that salvage material and returning it on the side for this box and for the smaller box on the other side. So there are, where we can reuse it, intelligently we are. Um, and this is also gives you a, a sense of sort of the scale of these boxes, they, you know, 10 feet tall, again, sort of the minimum height that we can get to, uh, to have them have an eight foot clear on the inside, which is uh, what code requires. Um, at the rear of the building, we are proposing uh, this other one story structure, 10 foot tall structure. Uh, which will be for restrooms. This sort of wraps around behind the teller counters at the north end of the building. Uh, it does have a mezzanine viewing platform on the top, and that platform will have a metal picket railing. Very simple. As with the others, it does not attach to the side masonry. We do have at the exterior a louver in two locations for bathroom exhaust. Uh, and this is a view of this on the exterior on the Reed Street side. So two areas where we're removing a pane of glass and installing a louver for uh, the bathrooms on the inside. So this is an existing condition view. Uh, this is the proposed view showing the covering over the windows with the painted on uh, Munton grid and the structure coming around with the railing for the viewing platform. Uh, and then the existing stair that takes you downstairs. I think I missed it, but what was the purpose of closing the window again? Of because of the them? video, it's a, it's a digital, digital art uh, video art center. art center, so in order to have the exhibit, we need to control the light within. I can go back at the end to show you the pictures of No, I saw this. Um, is the is the when you say an art center, and you probably covered a lot of this, and I'm sorry to be repetitive. Who's art? We'll, we'll go back. I, I think we should do with yeah, okay. Bruce and, and, and Tammy being late. I think we okay. could introduce. Yeah, we can rerun the video again. Are you the executive the director sense. or the? We. Okay, so we had an introduction, and we'll we'll go yeah. back and do the introduction because it's. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, apologies. That's okay. Um, and again, a lot of the, you know, these types of things are really program driven for this and are the most reversible of the interventions as well. Uh, we do have this emergency egress stair back here uh, and then the new stair down to the, the basement here. And this is, both of these are in non-designated spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, this is behind the teller counter uh, showing the existing floor, the back of the teller counter and then this is at the northwest corner, this view up here, uh, existing condition. Again, the flooring is not decorative. Uh, this is the proposed condition with the stair going down and viewing part of the side of the mezzanine here. Uh, on the exterior, we are proposing some signage and uh, wayfinding. Uh, we're proposing one banner sign at the west end of the building uh, projecting out from the face of the building and two banner signs within window openings sort of like what you see at the Metropolitan uh, or other museums and then we these are existing sign boxes and we have a new uh, sign proposed here and a new canopy at the entry which is the same design as the canopy that was installed at the residential entry okay and the and the uh, and these all meet LPC guidelines 
These are all part of the certificate of appropriateness application, so they don't they don't meet they don't meet staff rules now. How big is that one on the left thing that sticks out? Uh, it's on the next page. Okay, sorry. And in the center, the windows that you were filling in from the inside. Yeah. So the windows that you're showing in this perspective, actually, the exterior won't look like that simply because all it the will windows have a more will be outlook, yes. whited out. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, can you paint the side facing on the street a darker color so it's not so it looks Yeah, natural. I'm not sure what we are thinking of for the color. So they will look like blacked out windows then? Or a little bit more like grayed out windows? Not, com not, not completely black, no. Uh, so this is a detail for the sign. Do we have the height of this sign? No. Mm, Peter, no, what's that's, that's roughly 15 feet, I would say. Okay. Oh, oh, so so the blade sign is doesn't doesn't no. comply. No, no. It, it, None oh, of the oh, signs oh. he said comply on the outside. Well, that's, that's the only. That's the only. There's no. only one blade sign, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and it's actually a banner. It's a, it's a, it's a banner. banner. And it's, oh, oh, oh. But so, also oh, oh, oh. the bottom one. He said, yeah, well, you need new. number three. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, new as well. Time. You have a lot going on. Okay? That's, Why number that's three? to go next to the entry itself. So what's in, what's in the number Have they three said three how many nine? people this exhibition uh, has? It, it, would just, it would just be information kind of about the yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, So the banner sign is 15 by what? Um, I want to say it projects out at least three feet. By three. And then the smaller uh, sign at the lower level there is what? It's about four by five. Something like that, yeah, five by five. And that's there. The opening is existing, right? This oh, opening? No, number three. That this one. is just a sign. This is just a sign attached to the face of the building. Oh, it's that's not an no. It's, it's an insert. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 It just it sort of sits on the on the front of the. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. sections yeah. without exactly yeah. saying. <laughs> so, but the banner sign is pretty big, fifteen by three. Yeah, and and that's projecting out at the west side so that it's it's visible from up and down the street. And you haven't thought of using a flag on your flagpoles? Uh, we will have flags. Oh, on here the we flagpoles. go. We're gonna have flags yes, on the flagpoles too. Yes, flagpoles <laughs> exist. Um, and actually, but, and, 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 but actually, you're right. This yeah. photo should show. Flags yeah, it on should the flag because you know that because we talked, we did talk I about mean, the whole. It's a busy place, it, and if you show the flags too, right? Right, <laughs> but you probably with the flags, you don't need a big banner sign. You know, know. You know big flag. Well, and it's not so very representative if the windows are whited or grayed out. Yeah, yeah. They don't look. Also, to clarify, it's one of the flag poles. I think is for the. Okay. Sorry. Just one for. The two existing. So what's on the other one? One is for, and the other one's for residential. It'll probably just be for a flag. But who? But I mean, I'm sure the landlord would be open to having a match, a pair. Yes, but if we said we want two, and you said to him, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably right. <laughs> so that, Roger, that that is my question. Who would? I, we're going to go back, Bruce. So Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Let, let. Is, the, is the developer, right? No. no. Oh, okay. No, no. So we're going to go right. back. Rather than Ray run the whole meeting right, right, right. for four to 35 <laughs> minutes, let's right. just keep going, Dennis, and then we'll, uh, re we'll do the first five minutes. There is an existing canopy uh, at the residential entry. That's going to be the model for new canopy at the 51 entry. The new canopy will have uh, internally illuminated uh, lettering on it. Uh, so in the last like three or four, two or three years. I mean, it was it was part of the yes. residential. It was part of the residential rehab. Yeah, and it's approved, so you're right? Match the, you're going to match the existing. Yeah, the and you say the lighting is uh, on the inside. Uh, yeah. So right, frame, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then last thing on Reed Street, we do <coughs> have three exits. This is really sort of halfway between the main level and the basement level. Uh, so we are proposing to take three windows and convert them to uh, to exits. Uh, we will be removing and salvaging the window grills that are there. There's a very low sill. It's about a, a 10 to 12 inch sill at these openings, and that sill will be dropped, uh, and then new uh, uh, new metal and glass doors inserted. Uh, this is just a plan that shows that level with 
one, two, three, and then the existing main entry on Reed Street. That's it. Um, and no signage on Reed Street. No signage on Reed Street. Th these are just uh, exit emergency exits. Yeah. Okay. Great. I so, can let Luke come back up, but just uh, for uh, uh, for, the, for those that weren't here at the very beginning, the proposal for the for the space is a digital arts center. Uh, they use projections to put on exhibits of art, and the art is actually projected onto the architecture of the space in this case. Uh, so that's the reason for the light control. Uh, Luc Archambault from uh, Culture Spaces. Uh, they will be uh, they will be the tenant. This is not part of the developer or building owner's project. Uh, this is this is purely a tenant project. So, right. Luke, so do you want to? Would you mind just rerunning? This is yeah, Tammy, our chair, up. and Bruce, our ch chair of the board, and we'll, we'll Bruce. Our the, we have we have a brief video, like a thirty second video that okay. shows. Okay. Yeah. Because th there's a few more slides, Bruce, if you've got enough time to follow with us about about their other projects in Bordeaux, in Paris, and uh, in uh, Bordeaux, Paris, and somewhere else. I Provence. Have yeah. I have usage questions. Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, just talk to the police, Bruce, yeah. and you can see the full, and then yeah, we can go into questions. Yeah. yeah. So basically, we try to uh, to create a digital art center in, in this place. The idea is uh, trying to emerge, uh, to, to, to put uh, some technical equipment inside to create a special place where people will uh, enjoy the, and try to emerge the visitor inside the, the, the universe and the artworks of the, the great masters of art, hist of, uh, art history. So, uh, to make it short, we, uh, we try to have a, a program every year, so we are changing the concept every year. Uh, so it's a pretty different example of existing uh, site that we have in France. So the first, the first one that you saw in, in Paris in the former country in the 19th century. Uh, next, please. So the, uh, this one is uh, in a stone quarry uh, in the Provence, in Haute Provence. Uh, next. And the third uh, site, it's in the submarine base, uh, mm. based in Bordeaux. Uh, and, and the art, the art itself, obviously, was Van Gogh. There was a three-dimensional example of schizophrenia. But what are these other ones? So Where are you getting the art? So the idea is to, to set up the technical equipment in order to project some uh, exhibition in, uh, directly on the architecture of the sites, in order to... to uh, <coughs> sorry, I, I don't mean to... But the content, the art, the artistic production, yeah. from whence does it come? Uh, living artists, rotating art, uh, permanent uh, 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 we material? Do, uh, we do, okay, I'm sorry. Don't that. No, it's okay. <laughs> so you, you have, uh, it's, a, it's a loop of one hour and uh, one hour and a half, depending on what you do uh, to it. You can enter when you want, and you, you can exit when you want. And in, in the loop, it's starting with a, a small teaser of the space, presenting uh, the space. So for immigrant banks, we present some uh, archive uh, mm. uh, pictures of the, of the space and present mm. what was immigrant living bank in, in New York history. Then a long format exhibition uh, based on the, the, the biggest artists. So it would be Van Gogh, Dali, Klimt, uh, uh, Picasso, uh, Monet, uh, uh, Bosch, Brigel, Archimboldo, a lot of artists. We have eight different exhibitions and we continue to produce one exhibition every year. Then we have a sh two short format exhibitions, one about uh, less well-known artists, modern artists. Mm. For instance, with Clint, we uh, made an uh, underwater uh, exhibition. And then you have a uh, contemporary uh, creation for the space. And now, usually, we ask for local artists to create something new for, for the building. And I understand contemporary arts, but how, 
how are you getting the rights for the old masters uh, at public domain or, or the, the estates or what? No, that's so not to, to be, a business. Does it uh, Bruce likes it. You, 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 it's not like arguing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, yeah, because... Yeah, I'm just talking about it. It's very difficult. I've had a whole day of that. I know. You can also... And we know very well all the collectors, museums, foundations. Yeah. Okay. We have access to that. So, yeah. Thank you. Are you... I have a couple questions. Are you the permanent um, tenant of that space? Yes, with uh, IMG. Uh, US, but it, it would be a 10-year lease. It would be a 10-year lease. And what kind of events do you do during the art galleries? I mean, do you, I assume in space like that that there are private events. You could rent it for a cocktail party so and things like that. The idea is to, to be open uh, 10 months a year because mm -hmm. we need two months of maintenance for, for and to to adapt the new program to, to the space, so uh, an hour to work to, to adapt the exhibition to the space. Yep. And during 10 months, they will be open uh, every day for, for, the, for the public. From, mm -hmm. uh, we don't know yet, but it should be between 9 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. And during the evening, we, we should be able to, uh, to host some private events or special uh, Special uh, mm -hmm. exhibition. So, for instance, in France, we we, are, we made uh, an exhibition about environment uh, based on the, 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 the work of a very famous French photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, or we made some festival uh, of uh, immersive art. Mm. This type of things. Fantastic. What's the public assembly? And what is the public? That was. Thank you, Mark. You're, Sorry, you're no, tripping you, on my line, I man. You were done. Nope, that's the next. Um, chair, so my question actually, is, yeah. what is your public assembly? And if this is the modus operation for ten months of the year, what do you do during the other two months of the year? Is that strictly for private? No, the other two months are just when they're changing out exhibitions. So that's their maintenance. That's maintenance. Okay. It's a lot of what is the public assembly for that area? How many, no, how many people? Capacity, it's uh, around 1,200 people. And what kind of, uh, do you have any kind of a transportation plan associated with an attendance of 1,200 people or any kind of traffic studies that go along with that? With, the, with having events for 1,200 people in that location? It's not an event, it's a, it's like a, a museum. it's a ticketed museum. But he experience. just said in the evenings they would be able to host exhibitions and events. Okay. Yeah. 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 So there is a ticketed experience during the day, which considerably goes through a flow, but there is also the private event that he's, he mentioned during the evening. And if yeah, you... Okay, yeah. to, to, to reassure you, usually we, uh, we host some private event for 100 or 500 at the maximum uh, people at the same place. It's the capacity we are talking about. He's an architect and he's talking mm -hmm. about the capacity I'm talking about what we are doing. Of the usage. I understand. I completely understand. But I still would say you now qualify for what this community board looks at as a large venue. Okay. And when we look at large venues, there are 17 or 18 of them who have uh, grown in lower Manhattan and do present traffic pattern challenges in lower Manhattan, in particular Chamber Street depending on what time of day you'd like to cross it, can take you anywhere east to west from five minutes to 50 minutes. Mm. So it is a question that, while it's not under the purview of landmarks, right. so as the developers and as the people working the space, I would tell you that I would ask, I'm sure you'll have to come for a liquor license for events and things like that, depending on who your partner is in that aspect. Mm -hmm. But if you could please know that we will be looking for that kind of information okay. from you. So, so I mean, it, uh, yeah. you may not know the format because you're coming here for for, for landmarks, landmarks uh, uh, approval, but uh, I mean, maybe that we can encourage them to come to w which committee that does deals with this? Uh, it's quality of life. Quality of life. Really and large Be venue. You exactly. should. You should. No, no, no. But for, no, for we but it, you should reach out to us. Yeah. And we will be happy to, I mean, an art gallery is a fantastic addition to the community and we're all very grateful yeah. to have you here. It's not that, it is the concerns of the other aspects of it that does make the community, me as a chair of the community board pause and go, oh, interesting. 1,200 people I know might not be reasonable if you're actually operating the space, even though that's your TPA. Is that the right initials for that, I think? Yeah, permit well, of assembly. Well, we'll yeah. Strictly landmarks. Yeah, so I think yeah. we, we should, I mean, would you, 
I don't know who the right team would we, be. Uh, yes, I, I, I think the team is certainly willing to, to come back and talk yeah. to other committees yes, so where appropriate. Um, thank you. And, and, yeah. and may have to come back to other committees as part of other approvals. Yeah. Right, right now, I don't right. know that we have any of those, but that's sort of And else. then yeah. from a strictly landmark perspective, I have one other question. So I know he wanted to add on to say something. I just want to say that it's also just timed entry for the exhibit. So the crowdfunding is very controlled. How controlled is it? What did you notice? It's entry and is kind of every 30 minutes. For how many people? What's the maximum for the tranche? It depends on the space. To uh, I take the example of uh, Atelier Lumière in Paris, uh, we try to, to keep the, the number of people at, at 750 at the same time in the space. I mean, it is a big building on a busy street. Yeah. The relatively narrow sidewalks, by the way, because the, there's a bump out. Yeah. Um, Most of from, from a still. landmarks perspective, I guess one of my concerns with the slide that you showed on page 63, your existing and then what you're proposed, do you have any renderings that show actually what the front of the building would look like being all whited out versus the black that you have? Did no, you? I, I think we, we can uh, update this rendering to, to show that. Uh, but yes, no, it does not. Right, so we're, we're concerned about it being less looking like it's blacked out as you walk by, a, a more natural uh, lighting effect, which I'm sure is a pretty straightforward thing for you to address. Right. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, if I may, I don't have any horse in this race or skin in this ga game or any other uh, simile, but uh, because. Um, the agency with which I'm affiliated is representing the residential part of this building and the developer, and because I'm intimately familiar with it, I'm going to recuse myself from the vote. However, that doesn't preclude me from discussion, and I would say that um, the developer, and I don't know if the developer's here or, or, uh, or whose space this actually is. I don't know if the developer sold it off to a, to a, a, a condo owner. But the developer had to spend enormous time and effort getting that space in conformity to the LPC. There were a lot of incidentals from, from medallions to, to teller's windows. That was a back and forth. In the end of the day, I, I would say the developer did a, an incredible job restoring not only that space, but that building. So, Without having seen the whole presentation, I'm a, I'm a bit confused. But if you're going to recuse yourself... I'm going to right. reconstructing what was restored. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's a fairly modest intervention. Okay. Yeah. And right. I think we... Uh, I mean, I think, I think that Tam is right. I mean, we're most concerned about Chamber Street because that's where we all walk by. And I think the translucency of the blackout of those windows is a concern. I think we should encourage, I'm sorry. encourage <laughs> you to not or reject potentially the banner and, and encourage you to get the landlord to give you the second flag because that would be historically appropriate and, and nice. And if you've only got one, it's just a matter of negotiation for two. And if we've said, you know, that's what we want you to do, it gives you the, we can be the bad guy. Um, and then I think there are um, two exterior signs. Well, that's a, but that's an insert. I mean, I, you know, it's. Um, am I right? The, the, the lower sign on the window is just added, uh, placed on the window frame itself. No. It, it's placed on the masonry. On the masonry. Oh, I'm masonry. sorry. Okay, okay. There's no window. Like there's no windows. Windows. Okay. There no windows. Okay. That's what you get when you got me in here. Sorry. Well, it's got two way. Right. It's, so it's two signs on either side right. of the 49 yeah, yeah. entrance. And, and the 51 entrance. And and fifth, uh, and the 51 entrance. entrance. Yeah, it's, it's the west entrance. Ah, so the masonry will be. This one shows 49. Right. This, this one shows. A, this is just a rendering of. Yeah. The so I mean, what is our feeling about that? I mean, it to. happens all the time, of course. No, the anchored sign. It's against the door frame. I feel like there's so much stuff going on. I'm opposed to. 
know. Wicked the banner and, and the uh, two anchor signs. Okay, so we oh, talk about the banner. We talked about yeah. the banner. We what about the, the banner two with the signs? Flag, so then let's move on to the two signs. Yes. So it, it, yeah. it's it, a minimal invasion. It is, and, and it's, yeah. it's pretty aggressive to say you can't have any signage on a building. I think the big signs on the windows actually, and if they had the flags, but it, it's I mean, you go to the Met. Yeah, that that's what that's like. That's right. what the. Well, can I say something? Yeah. Just a question. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but uh, the, 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 the that's two good. banners on, on the window, yeah. the people who are walking on the on the sidewalk will not see what we are doing because it's very high. Yeah, no instant. And we try to put a, a small uh, billboard on uh, aside of the the entrance of the of the site right. because we saw some archive pictures of the yeah, site yeah. in the. That mm -hmm. show that yeah. was the case. Yeah. So we tried to, to uh, yeah. really uh, save the architecture of the site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. see that elevation. Yeah, and it, and it's what you get at the Met and many other places too. Can we so say yes to one and not to the tariffs on the sure. outside of the building? Yeah, yes. I mean, well, it's it's pretty aggressive to not let any signage on an entrance. Yeah. I mean, it. it, it oh, no, no, I think it's uh, fine. It's just that where the fr the entrance is to have the vertical, the two flags, yeah, 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 yeah. the two windows, and this is what. So take one out. We we we. I would prefer not. I know what you mean about the um, perpendicular sign because you can see it down the sidewalk. Um, if you have flags, I mean, would that no, suffice? But, uh, we are here to be. Uh, the other side and understand what yeah. you want. So well, just don't make it. But the right, so we're going to say, gonna say right. no no it's large fine. banner blade yeah. sign. We would prefer the second flagpole. Exactly. We're saying Symmetry. one Simplicity. one door signage, not a deal with the tariff once you are in the entrance. It's not uncommon. Yeah. And the two window banners, I, I don't know what. Are they're we fine, not, they're like the Met, you see. But Tammy is not. No, that's, that's okay. fine, because then they so, would have, so we'd yeah. like they'd to have two flags. Like just to just wait a minute, they'd have two the flags, flags, two window banners, yeah. two. Um, those, existing, those are existing. Uh, existing. No, those are existing. Yeah. Those those are existing, existing so yeah. that's six, and then we're saying yes to a seventh closer to the door. No, no, I'm opposed to this. Both sides, left and right? They have is two. There one on the right as well? There's left yeah, and right yeah, yeah. of that door. Yeah. One is a tariff sign, so and one under, is just underneath art. the banners. There'll be these two, these two sign like this. Is that correct? So I don't see one here in the room. He's right. saying underneneath the banner yeah, because if you're at so street so site. To show the program. That oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, simple, yeah, yeah. simple question. Is the, is there going to be it's one there. like this yeah. here? No, we cannot because the government will provide us. Okay, so yeah, so that's the program. So I'm opposed to. No, no, I'm opposed to this. The one under the banner. Yeah, the one this under that. One. This, this, no, no, no. this one. Yes. No, no, no that one. The that one, one under that. Yeah, sorry, okay, all right. Yeah. So we need to move on. It's five minutes to seven. So what's the so do we have any other points that? other than Robert, any other issue? There was a marquee. Are you find with that? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah. It matches the match. residential building that you represent. Yeah, that's fine. So we, do we have any concerns I at all on anything internally? I yes, I do. Okay, Vera. So tell her, tonight you're removing, or you're doing, you're removing seven, right? Tell her we're dropping these screens remain here and here. But when you go in, here and here. There was three, remember there was two yeah. pages when you first moved in. Right, right so okay. that's here. Those screens will remain. We're just dropping the sills, right? Right, so, but that's, so that's really, okay, you're not removing it, but you have to remove part of it. So it we doesn't look like the tower anymore. Yeah. Do we have an opportunity and then we, to get better lighting that on Weed Street? For more entrance, you have with those because we need, we, need to be, we need to have a certain amount of because it's kind of uh, passageway I mean, through actually like to into this part of the space. space. So two is not question. Yeah. What kind of lighting we they were doing? Okay, and then we don't you're, we don't you're, that, so that's two there. There is no light here. Yeah. And then these they two sections here. Are how many cages? No. Uh, three and three on one so side. Can clarify, yeah. I can clarify. Okay. So we have about oh. 18 or so. No, we have about 15 or so cases on each side. So and right, I'll two, three. Actually, it might be three, better. Two are removed it might be entirely. better to read straight. One, two, three, four, five, six are altered by dropping the sills. And Is then that? you have the north ones too, right? Yeah, that, I, that was part of the six. I so, in the restored space in those those tallest windows. Okay, we got to we got to move this along. Yeah. We got to move this along. Uh, this is probably is it, less than what uh, Landmarks approved uh, at uh, Hanson yeah. Place recently. Oh, okay, so. can you go to third well, page? Well, it's not a banking page home. Page 35. Vicky. Hey, we're kind of all over the map. Everyone's talking at once. So Mark. Page 35? Yep. Uh, oops, sorry. 
So this uh, wall here, I have, uh, it just kind of sticks out to me. Uh, it, 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 I just don't like the way it appears uh, visually. I don't know if anyone else agrees. No, come on. This is, it's, no. Mark, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's very well designed not to impact the interior designated space. Uh, and we just, normally uh, like something bland and nondescript, which well, is what right. it is. And what else can you do? Okay, what's your other point? I, I what's your other point? Okay, you might, you can always vote again. What's your other point? Roger, you have to stop saying that. If someone disagrees with you, well, you I'm shouldn't seeing just say you can always vote against it. It's one a, having, it's seven o'clock. Gentlemen, 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 settle just down. Just to throw out, you can always vote against it. it doesn't solve it. Because anything. there's not mother, other people around the board, the uh, table, that are saying, I agree, because... I only heard two people say that. Mark, you want right? that Roger to okay. That's right. So what's your second point, Mark, yeah, please? And the second thing is that I see no reason why we can't just mention since a large venue thing came up. That, we, will. That, we will. That that they agreed to, just a one-liner, the we applicant will. agreed to yep. come back. And right, let me back. summarize it. Okay. Right, right. So we just had a clarification on the Reed Street. There is no lighting uh, changes on the Reed Street and exits. No. Okay, right. Okay, great. So, let me try and summarize this. Um, Almost wish there we, uh, We're very pleased with the application. I think yeah. this is a wonderful yeah. use of, of glorious space. I mean, so many of our interior designated uh, buildings are turned into malls yeah. unsuccessfully. Food courts. Food courts. Yeah. And food courts and other despicable, unnecessary things. So it's really nice to take a lovely building and to reflect its heritage in a very tasteful way. This is a, you know, a very nice application, so forgive our slightly uh, coronavirus-irritated mood. Um, <laughs> but on, the, on, on Chambers Street, we would propose to deny the large blade sign and encourage you to work with the landlord to get a second flag along your flag that you already have. We're okay with the two banners on the inside, recognizing uh, the Met and other, uh, other organizations use that. And I think, I'm right in saying now, the committee's okay with the two door signs, one for tariff and one for... Uh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> We well, did let, not let, say we were okay well, with both Mark signs. Well, Mark and you perhaps weren't. I don't know. What Can is that? Can you take the straw poll on that? Yeah, Can that, you take that, a straw poll? Right. One sign or two door signs? This, this sign right Yeah, yeah. This so right who would prefer one? Mark, would ah. you prefer just one? Just, just not this one. Yeah, just, just one of the door signs, They just need two. one no, no. one sign on no, no. one side no, or the other. Yet. I haven't got that So, so let's deal with simple. what I'm coming to the I'm coming to the exhibition sign in a moment. Mm -hmm. So just on the two, there's two door signs Can you around the door case. The, the yeah, of course it's reversible. Yeah. yeah. It's also, it's like any pin it's sign, in, it's right? It's in the mortar joint. In the mortar joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get some reversible language in there. Yeah. They, I mean, Mark, okay. I think, would digest that. Way. Okay, so these are all reversible. reversible. Hold on if second. it's reversible, then I'm good with that. Okay, Hold all right. on a second. That's I mean, reversible. come on. Being an architect, I think we can say that if you have the center bay has uh, corresponding signs, right? Yeah. So all he's doing is taking the side entrance and making it symmetrical by proposing two signs as well. Yeah. Can we look at it that way? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's if like they one here, same, one there. If they were the same size. They are. Well, no. No. They're fitting the, they're fitting so the they, window. So he can make them, make them all the same size, for example. Can you make that all four be, the same size yeah, going that across? That would be, you know, something that so we can... Symmetry, uh, is that fair? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, challenge, exactly. Okay, um, so we're fine right. with that and the removable mark, just like every other application we've received in the last 20 years. And then the exhibition sign, which this is the one, this one... Are we okay with that or not? I'm not. Mark, oh, is everybody else with Mark? Which one? Not being um, okay? I, 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 this I exhibition sign here. The, the I understand symmetry. what you so my, we need to my, move on. So my this, comment is, is uh, if these two signs were the same size yeah, as those right, two signs, if it was in symmetry, then good. I would right. not but care then, about all four. That's fine, I'm going to do that. And then that this possible? one, the exhibition sign. Do they agree to that? I don't... Reversible. Yeah, so could you give us that symmetry on the bottom rather than exploding? In fact, the idea of the sign on the right is yeah. to, to, to give uh, the sense of the program side of yeah. the, the, the side. So, if you give me just a, a small piece, it would be difficult to, for me to, to, to okay. design something. So, more or less, it's a billboard of right. the normal so, size in New York. So, 
we can try to... Uh, no, but architecturally, to right? Not to, I don't mean to try to, but architecturally you have two options. One is match all of them, right? And so you have one, two, three, four, or have this pair, not this, and only that, if you're going to have it special. I know this since I do this for a living for 32 years. So that is what I would suggest. You either have them all the same or only have one, right? Uh, here on the right. No, the one under the banner has to go. If he wants this one to be bigger and special, right? Then it is bigger and special, right? But that's the problem with it. <laughs> okay, so let's just, do, what's the committee's feeling about that. Vicky's proposal? I disagree. I know, I'm an architect. Why would you so agree? Either two the same money the one. No. So are we in favor or not in favor as proposed? Vicky, are we in favor? I'm with I'm with Roger. Roger is like my surrogate for the I mean we're dad. We it's not unreasonable for an art installation to need to promote itself because we do want it to be successful. Right, so and I'm agreeing, keep the big sign. So we're then trying not to fine tune the issues because they've spent a lot of time and effort thinking this through and they've got some rationale for what they're doing. And if you go up to the Met you see this all the time and it's not, you know, I think we're getting a little bit I can, I, over. I, can, I am persuaded over. Thank you. Oh, in fact, so can we, as summarized, uh, recognizing this is all set in the mortar joints that could be removed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay. that um, we uh, vote in favor of that and that internally we are very pleased as long as you retain all material that is not reused in the building carefully for future use. And you did put something in there about finding a way to have the exterior of the building, even though the windows are blocked yes. out, to have them look M more natural. Make the natural. windows less, yeah. less more blocked natural. out. Yeah. More yeah. Um, and that you're going to come and present to our quality of life as regards of large venue uh, use. So in favor of that, approval of that application of those modifications, one, two, three, four, five, six, and Bruce, you're recusing yourself. Okay, and you're going to landmarks on the 7th of April. April the 7th, okay, thank you. And when would you hope to be open? Oh, big questions. April uh, 2021 yeah, is the uh, goal. 2021, excellent. Good. April 2021, right? Uh, for V2. Okay. okay, very I, good. I'm sticking with the old schedule. All right, <laughs> thank you, Dennis. It was. Uh, uh, thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Can you do six? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a safe flight home. Thank you for coming. Does anyone have a pad? No, otherwise, no. Use the back of the. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can we uh, download a copy of that? Is that possible? Yes. Um, do you want, would you mind leaving the stick? I know you're leaving tonight. Is that your only copy? Don't take these with you. Of the presentation? Yeah. We, we always save them. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I have it here if you want. You just copy it. I already copied it to the board. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Safe travels. Having so much fun. Yeah, we always have fun. Yeah, this is the best committee. I mean, I don't know what. Here you go, George. Sorry about that. I said you weren't doing anything this evening anyway, right? I did. After <laughs> what? We do it because you. We 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 did. We stood you up last month. It's our duty. It's our duty. Our civic duty. Do you want one? Uh, you uh, no, one I Jason? didn't see that. Oh, yeah. George. You're welcome. Oh, Bruce is going to be sharp with this one. Yeah, Bruce, let him have it. Okay, they're putting New a sheriff. generator in the lobby. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. New sheriff. Right. Okay. They heard your voice, Bruce. They're putting all the generators in the lobby. Okay, now I, I, think, I think in light of some of our more recent members, oh, yes. maybe only Vicky, but I, I do feel it would be worth Bruce providing a little bit of overview to our long history with George and the wonderful Western Union building. Okay, thank you. I'll be quick. As an architect, George is a you know, wonderful no. community asset. I'll He's do sort that because we need to find a deal. Yeah, we'll George is not 
60 Hudson Street, 60 Hudson Street, historically, with our community and the community board, has been at great odds. It started out as the Western Union headquarters, the, at the time the largest corporation in the world, and uh, I'm gonna move eventually that. I'm it was gonna move that. a little bit okay. and uh, we'll keep doing that new Wednesday. ownership in yeah, the late 60s, 70s, inadvertently turned it into a major telecommunications Good. hotel. 15. Telecommunications hall. It was done very ad hoc. Uh, there are many, many, many lessees in there with One enormous generators, equipment, of these. probably 70 or 80 generators. Well, it's better to be before. Um, they were all allowed to we essentially do what they were stuff initially. Yeah. They Monday's were rejected with the formed community groups to oppose it. There was even a lawsuit. The, the, so the fire department, uh, the fire department, Okay. intervened and, and gave them some oh, well, I will Passover. say over the last 20 years, oh, okay. uh -huh. they have this become the, first the building oh, a little bit, okay. the so noise, the, the smoke, the do diesel the fumes, were unbelievable and out of control. That's the, it, It's also a major, major, it's on the major list of, of terrorist sites in New York, it's in the top 10. It's very dangerous, it's very, uh, <coughs> it's very uh, economically productive, and it's very beautiful. It's, it's an interior and exterior landmark, Ralph Walker. Right, I was going to say, that's, that's what that's, I'm looking that's for. That's a brief summary. Yeah, no, I know this After 9-11, well. there were security measures taken that were fairly benign. Yeah. George also did a master plan of, of modifications that's never really been implemented, just piecemeal. And that's where we are today. Fair okay, George. with that, I'll just add two, two other things. One of the reasons why this building became what it is or like your phone when you just went on, is because of the Western Union. There were pipes under, underground that connected this to That's the AT&T right. building yes. that went all the way to Europe. No matter. So all this was was an adaptive reuse of that building. Yeah, yeah and okay. our point always, that's your point, I okay. take it fairly, but, it's like saying there were okay. trolley tracks on West Broadway, right. so now we're putting a jet port right. on West Broadway. Okay, so, so yeah. now... So, but, so what so, we're here doing, if I can, please, is, mm -hmm. is actually the building's evolving. Okay, so what, one of the things that's happening now is the building is becoming less telecom because they've reduced their size and they're dispersing. So the building's becoming more commercial, more office space. So it's being marketed now in, in all the vacant spaces as for office spaces. Part of that becomes uh, with security with the lobby. So as you can see, this is an existing photograph of what's there right now. Yeah, I know. And you don't allow photographs. They don't want to photograph, and it is right against as you enter in, there is this barrier. The barrier isn't really a barrier, it's just a, I mean, there's no turnstiles, there's nothing in here. There's a, because there's not that many people in the building, okay? They're projecting a lot more office space and a lot more people, and it's become apparent that they need to have a new, more secure turnstile effect, okay? I, I want to add that the only real, real intervention, which was approved by Landmarks, was a second security desk. Well, I'll get to that, okay? okay. Mind. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll go through this. Yes, and you can, go so this is the limits of what the designation of the lobby is. And Bruce is right, both the exterior and interior are uh, designated uh, from Landmarks. Yeah, These are some of the, the photos of, of some of Walker's voices inside of the lobby. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a masonry. It's beautiful. It's right. And it's interspersed with a lot of brass inlays that are inside mm -hmm. of here. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce is correct that this is in before my time. There was, a, was it before your time? Oh, yeah. Wow. Before George? I didn't yeah. know that could have been a bit <laughs> It's not bad. It gives new meaning to PG. <laughs> yeah, for another brick. Bad. Yeah, yeah. I've been living with this building for before you. Okay, okay. All right, okay. keep going. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I just want to. So here's a view from Hudson Street. So you walk in from here, there's a small vestibule, and then you go through the doors, and immediately you're stopped right here. Yeah. And one second. Oh, no. Okay? Uh, Too bad. Let's see that. So one of the things that we're trying to. Uh, I don't think where's the West Broadway. Yeah, that's West Broadway. It's the same kind of effect where you go through and there's a barrier right here uh, for that. So what our plan is here is, uh, especially like on West Broadway, there's this great little hall that is absolutely not used. It's dimly lit. It, it just, it, no one, 
It's just, it's looking for something. George, was that the phone booth uh, area? Was no, the no, phone booth is over here. Okay. So there was actually nothing, even in the historic photos, of, that was done inside of here. Uh, so what our idea was to take the turnstiles from over here and move them out to here so that the public so the can actually out. become part of this. You're moving them west. You're moving them west? I mean east. He's east. moving them east. east. I yeah. said West Broadway. Oh, Hudson. East. Oh, He's okay. moving them east. Hudson Street. Okay. Hudson. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. And so part of that is that's a problem. So part of that uh, as well is that we need to have a security desk so that someone can see it. So the idea was to have it so that it's in between here, so that they can still see the door, but then people can come to here to get their their pass and then go through. If you have a pass already, you just walk right through. Uh, on West Broadway, we tried to do the same exact thing, which is right now here's where the defining line is. We pushed it in as far as we can, oh, and we put a desk inside of there. Okay. So, hey, George, what happens to the area hmm. between the pushed in the security gates and the door on the West Broadway? So you just walk in and you just it's okay to get that far. Right now, you're gonna if this gets approved, <coughs> you're gonna walk in, you go through here, you'll be able to inhabit this entire yeah. hall. Okay. To enjoy it. Yeah. Correct. So uh, what I'm saying uh, is I that should start the so-called foyer, the lobby between the doors. Go ahead. I, I appreciate if you just let me go through it. All right. What we tried to do originally was to put the turnstiles here at the elevator uh, lobbies. Right. We looked at the APT building, which they did it. We don't have the same dimensions. Walker changed the dimensions. There, there was. <laughs> we he you need ten seven to do that. We have nine feet, so it just can't work. And we tried to put them out, but then. It wasn't working there. Uh, so that's why we've now put it along here, mm -hmm. made a big room inside of here that people can use, and still have the ability to have some kind of security for that. This is a, as the hall looks like right now, and this is what we're proposing. So I'm just showing you the before and after. Now part of the, the problem inside of here, and I, I welcome you to go in there, is this is when you walk through, it's like when you're going into a tunnel where your just, eyes just go down. It's not very well lit inside of here. And there are times when you walk through, you're kind of walking around. And so what we're looking for is any kind of glows inside of there. So that's what we were trying to do is to create, because it's floating, to follow sort of the same kind of character that, that Walker had done inside with the materials. You're talking so, about the desk itself? The desk itself, yes. What is that material? So I, I have samples inside of here, but this is a... Uh, a non-directional finished brass. Terrific. That, okay. Yeah, I can see the room, uh, yeah. And we have a slight glow around it. So we've, we've done, since yeah, we're getting into this, yeah. you know, here's, we found a, a stone. Whoops. Would you mind is, if we close the window a little bit, ahead. Bruce? Or at least one. one, that one, that one, one, be one. one. We found a stone that would try to uh, one, just one, so help mimic to. the terrazzo for the base. Would you like me to be oh, the Vanna White? <laughs> well, we'll get a, get the whole I might even be Carol Merrill, depending on how you do it. No, I, I'm actually good. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so the idea of why we did this, as opposed to just looking at the street, is that this dims it down a little bit, and it gives a little shimmer to it, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, and then on top, we need some, a protective surface for people that are constantly there. So we're using an espresso brown corian on the top, and that's this part right up in here. Okay. <laughs> kind of have a little bit of fun here. Come on. I'm going to throw one at Jason. And this is what, when you, when you walk in, now you've gone past the turnstiles, and here's the turnstiles to get into the... So the turnstiles would match this metal? Absolutely. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. All's good now. Okay. So then the same thing is going to happen onto West Broadway. Uh, and as I explained already, the, the entrance. And here's just the before and after idea. And what we've done is, as opposed to put everything against this wall here, we're trying to open it up. So we turn the desk on the opposite way. We put that receding back a little bit. Uh, and on both sides, in both places, we have to, by law, have a, a quote unquote door, which is really a gate for mm -hmm. egress. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so we even looked into having you know glass uh, for the turnstiles. And we said no, because that even distracts it more. It makes it like a wall mm -hmm. because it reflects. So that's why we're using just a simple pin that goes across. Mm -hmm. Did you say pin? P I N? 
Mm -hmm. right. yes. Silver right, right, right. panels. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Like, uh, so yeah. this kind of helps explain like why yeah. we didn't want to put that whole thing. Except doors where you can't do things. You, can't you, do have, to, you yeah. have to do the yeah. glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nice. I you've got them in a bronze finished rather than some right. so that yeah. steel. So Again, that's what we're trying to... Warm, right, for that brick. It's appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. So these are just... And that's what the desk looks like. It's, mm -hmm. It has a sort of faceted yeah, effect. So there's, there's, and what are you doing with the existing two security? I'm sorry, you'll get to that, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and this is just a plan of, of what these are. Uh, and again, drawings of what the, the turnstiles and gates mm -hmm. are. And these are just some examples of other places that we looked into. Uh, that's yeah. AT&T. That's, that's my building. There you go. Yeah, you don't want to do that. that yeah, yours is my, that's more appropriate. So uh, we just this is what I was talking about what AT&T yeah. did yeah. I mean uh, uh, yeah AT&T did mm -hmm. right. we just don't have the depth the width uh, and that's it. What is uh, wool? Um, but what are you doing with the ones you're removing? They're those are temporary. They were temporary as of so 19. You were 99. Yeah. What about the original one? One is original. One of the two security hmm. desks is original. No, those the two security desks that are shown on the first renderings that nothing is changing. Oh, so there'll be four security desks instead of two. There, the reason for these new security desks here, or is there a There are four now, okay? So here is one that's here right now. This is where a man's uh, station. That's Hudson. On Hudson. He's going to be over here now. Right, right. So, and, and on, on... So we're not changing the amount at all. Okay, on West Broadway, though, there is no security Yes, there desk. is. It's pushed in. I mean, I no, it's, I, I can show you a photograph. Oh, yeah, that thing by the door that we push the button, yeah. No, okay. the, but it's over here. That's, yeah. this man is right here? Yeah. Okay. And then there's okay. two others at the elevator. So just okay. out, of, out of curiosity, LPC was very, very precise back then about any modifications in this lobby. This lobby, when you walk in, it's breathtaking, and it's, you know, it's a big through, it's a whole block long, gorgeous. I'm glad you're not changing the lights, but... You took great pains to duplicate, to reproduce the original material on the first security desk with the second back there before your time. And I'm not saying what you're proposing is bad. I'm just saying you're taking a completely different tack. That was totally congruent with Ralph Walker's lobby. This is a very, very new intervention. Again, I'm not saying it's bad. You mean this? You're right. Those Why two did you stay, though. Those two are still no, there. No, but that's right. not my point. The, the well, which was your point then, Bruce? One of the two was added after 9-11. Great pains were taken to have it match Ralph Walker's interior materials. As you can see, it's hard to tell the difference. Right. Why are we, and I'm just asking, it's, it's not a loaded question, why have you gone a different route and a completely, completely different aesthetic with the new, um, the new security desk? Because these are part of this wall. Both of the other ones that I have, they're floating. Can I go the, the, he's yeah. just replacing the wood ones. No. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. So he, here's, let's no, go back. No, but you're right. You know, the point is that those two are attached. The original ones are attached to the wall. The new ones are floating in the space. Mm -hmm. So to make the brick floating in the space, he's really saying, would make sense. And it would be obscuring, basically, what yeah. he's hoping by doing the light mm -hmm. is to add some sort of... And how long are the brightness? How long Thank are the you. No, I was about to say, Tammy, can we let him in? Please? <laughs> no, no, she did a great job. That, that, I, I always like when someone else yeah, figures I, it out. You know, answer. Yeah. How long well, are the design design. Design. Like talking to myself. How long are the, the new desks? You know, how, oh, what are the dimensions? They're 10 feet. 10 feet. For, they're shown here. Uh, we have to have. Two, four, much larger. Seven, eight feet, sorry. Excuse me. Eight, yeah. Yeah. eight feet. Bruce, and how long are the, the, the new desks are much larger uh, than the existing no. ones? For one person. Okay. Okay, so that's it. So you, 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 just, just so you know, in making your judgment, so we're replacing four foot stands with eight foot stands, and I'm not, again, not characterizing it. Okay. Yeah. So, but we're, what we're doing, just to, to be clear, is that. We have a four-foot stand for like seven people in the building. Right. Okay? The idea is that th this building is, is attempting to do something which I think is beneficial for the neighborhood, right. is to become more commercial. How many floors will be commercial now? They are depending upon how they rent it. Yeah, right. so really trying to feet. fill the whole. They are. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I mean, Mars the. Vicky.
what's it in there. Once it becomes more and more commercial, how more relevant is that needed? Or is it good question? Uh, Right. Can you wind that down if there's yeah. not yeah. need? It's not a purpose for emergency backups. Which is, I mean, think about it from your, if you're the landlord, is now you have a, a diesel generator that you don't need, and it's taking up X amount of space, and you're trying to develop it, and for, you're trying to get someone to rent that. I mean, that, that's logical, but is there an answer? Do you know? You know. I, I, you know, that's a that's a ownership question, but I'm just using. I just know from experience of what they're doing now, is that they're taking spaces that were destined to be for telecom, and, and are no longer being used for that. So I mean, in, in, apropos of, of Mark's we question, we can mention that. We can. I do want to say that Sean, who is no longer there, who ran the building, always said that this equipment is so heavy and so difficult. That it would never be removed, no matter what. But so I you're think you're saying it will be. No, no, no. Let me let me try and help George okay. here. I think we can Maybe. say we're we're pleased to see the transition of the building back into commercial space, right. and we encourage as that as that happens floor by floor that the unnecessary diesel tanks <laughs> are removed and, and as part of that and, and transformation. Right. To least, from telco to commercial, but it's not part of the application, and, and we can't go too crazy by saying a small intervention to increase lobby flow to encourage commercial leasing should be rejected because we want the diesel tanks to be removed, not. which yeah. will be removed if it turns into commercial. Right, and I, I would just say the only reason I am here, the only reason I was asked to do this is because they're anticipating a lot more people right. and office space as opposed right. to... Also the they Otherwise, if they were doing so the reverse, they, I wouldn't be here. Bruce, you're writing this resolution, are you? Yes, right? Yes. right. So you're taking some notes on this? Course. Yeah, so, okay. So good. I, I actually... For the first time in 20 years. I'm going to approve it. First time in 20 years. It's because years. Tammy's here. I, I don't see. Uh, I don't have. Any I have a problem. Okay, let's call the question. Oh, wait, does anyone have an objection? <laughs> no, I second for calling the question. Okay. Okay. okay, that's great. So let's just sum it up for Bruce's uh, uh, resolution writing. We recognise the need for a free, freestanding. Uh, lobby receptions as the building converts back to commercial use, which we're very encouraged of. We feel the materials and the design are appropriate for the building. We recognize that it doesn't um, match the wonderful Walker original uh, um, lobby entrances, but because they're free floating, we uh, support that design uh, and we encourage the applicant to, we encourage the owner to ensure or to, cons or to to ensure that as the building becomes more commercial again that the unnecessary diesel tanks are removed as part of that transformation and, and, and ancillary equipment like in a certain and ancillary place. equipment I'm sure, so, so nothing is going to be done to the outside there's no outside changes the bollards are the same because they're not bad outside. so that is the application so can we approve that application wow well done, George. This is historic. This is this is historic. It's because Tammy's here. No one knows. We had to get okay. Tammy to leave her children at home to come and make us Cora and get yeah. Bruce to yeah. thank you so much support for George's application. <laughs> it's a perfect. Okay. It's pretty funny. Can I ask a question of anyone yes. who doesn't want these copies? If you wouldn't sure. mind, I'll take them back for, for landmarks. Yeah. I need one. Oh, when is yeah. the hearing? Seventh, uh, April seventh, Bruce. Yeah. April seventh. Yeah. So we have one last item, which is when is the April meeting? Because of because of Passover, because of Passover, because of Passover, uh, we are recommending the meeting be Tuesday. Sorry, Thursday, the second of April. Passover is starts on the ninth. So the first night of Passover is Wednesday the eighth. The second night is Thursday the ninth. So we would normally not host community board meetings right, right. that night. Right. The licensing is going to be on the 22nd, by the way. Right, right. Okay. Is it? Yeah. So Damn it, I was going to suggest we move executive wait, meeting. Wait, wait, let me double check. We picked April, uh, what did we pick for the license? Uh, we were six feet apart from each other. That was huge for me. That was it? There was no... Uh, That's it. When did you choose for license? Last night. No, 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 hold on, oh. hold on, hold on. I think we picked, did we pick the 22nd or the 20th? Who's on license? Hopefully you didn't pick the 23rd. 
Yeah, what's that? That's the yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, be twenty seconds. This bad here. Twenty seconds. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Before zero. I didn't have it high. Thank you, George. That's right. Uh, there is executive training. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I call. Okay. So for everybody who's here, yeah. every second. Right. Is, 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 uh, April second is, is, is going to be for this one. Okay. LPC. Okay. All meetings from the, we're waiting to hear. We believe parks will be canceled. We assume the Department of Transportation will not present on the moving and the charging bill. In the effect that they do, then it starts the clock and we do have to opine. We do not have a way to opine but outside of being present according to open meeting laws. If they cancel their presence, that pushes their timeline back, we cancel Waterfront. At this point, because full board really only has to happen by the 31st, by the end of the month, or we call an emergency executive session to approve everything and push everything through, we're waiting to see. Our hope is within two weeks that this blows over. If you look at the progress we've had in two weeks and, and about it getting nasty, we're hoping with the closing of everything and the way that things are going that everything will improve in two weeks and we will be able to do full board. That's an optimistic perspective. In the meanwhile, there are many other things at hand. When I say that things change hourly, I'm not joking. Oh, yeah. So between the beginning of the day and the end of the day, everything, I sent it out in an email so we know everybody understands what's going on. What we do need from chairs going forward is that resolutions are written and submitted to the people with the office two to three business days beyond the date of the meeting. So today being whatever day of the week this is, Thursday, by Monday, your resolution should be done for this committee. Ramesh should have it, should be able to tweak it to get it in. We want, it's the way we used to operate three, four chairs ago. We're going back to that minute, two to three days. So when you're done, three days after, if you've done a committee, you're done, right? That's the way we'd like it to roll. So that rolls for Bruce and for you, right. Roger. That's Thank fine. you so That's much. Fine. But, but uh, what I... What, um, we called what? off executive training for this oh, month. She good. will come in October. October? Now the, uh, I mean April. <laughs> Sorry. My head's in a mess. You were paying attention. We all looked you at were. Her with, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and move. What? I'm going to try and move executive. Roger said that to me, and Roger says we really need training. Yeah. No, no, I I, I just need some coffee, from. coffee and dinner. From. So I'm gonna try and move executive to the 23rd, which will be the day after licensing, um, to be able to allow us to all do the training and enjoy it and move forward from there. Uh, do we know when the? And you are welcome to still join us. Thank you, Roger. Do, do we know when yeah. the new board appointees are being announced? They canceled on the interviews, which are scheduled for tomorrow. So you've got me so, for another month, Mark. I'm so I, sorry. I just want to get out of this. <laughs> so I need you to stay. Sorry. Okay. What's the All code right. for the... 215 for the Georgia View. 215, okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank so you, sorry. everybody. I'm trying to convince you not to leave. No.